always a big time for, for footballers, isn't it? With yeah. games coming thick and fast, and this is no exception. Just Boxing Day, a win over Morecambe, and following Friday, a trip to Hereford. Yeah, well, I think that's a, every player knows what Christmas is all about. You know what I mean? So. You, it's time for party for everyone else, but for every football, it's time for hard work and trying to get the points, which we uh, we deserve. I thought it's more come on on in Boxing Day, so we've got to kick on now. And you look at the league now, and we win, we win on Friday night. It puts us in a great position over the festive period to try and get in the playoffs against uh, Macclesfield on Monday. We'll talk about the bigger picture in a minute, but from a personal point of view, after the injury, back in training, out yeah. there doing some extra work, how close are you? Um, I'm I'm not obviously not close to be starting games and. I, Maybe get ten minutes, and hopefully in the next couple of weeks. But I still need to work on my fitness because obviously, the longer I, I was, I'm out, the worse my fitness has gone. But I feel I'm slowly but surely getting better, and it's just it's just about a progression now. And every training session, I'm out doing extra after every everyone goes in. So hopefully, I've just got to keep doing that, and when the hard work will pay off. You know what I mean? And the way the team's been performing, the way the form is at the moment, you must be wondering about getting back into the side. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, if your team keep, keeps winning, you're not going to get back in. But it's good to see because then you can, in the season, when the season towards on towards the end, and if we're in a good position, it's better for every player. As, as, a, as, as a watcher and as an observer in recent weeks, what's changed? The performances have still been fairly similar, but yeah, the results have been terrific. Result. We've taken our chances, is probably the main thing. And when winning games is pretty confidence, doesn't it? So the more confidence, the more games you've been, the more confident we've gotten. It's shown on the pitch. And that confidence, do you see it every single day with the lads? Are they, are they visibly different? Yeah, definitely, yeah. I think it, uh, the, the longer the uh, more wins we get under our belt, and every day in training, it, it, it seems to be more bubbly every week. So we've just got to keep it going because it's going to be a tough t end towards the season. So we're in a good position now, but we've got to maintain it now. Consistency is always the big thing in this division, isn't it? Anybody that puts a run together can can rock it up the table. Yeah. Is, is that in the back of everybody's mind? Yeah, I think if you win a few games on a bounce in this league, you, you kick start your season. You know what I mean? That's what's happened to us. We, as I say, if you win a few games in this league, you just rock up, rock you right up the league. You know what I mean? So we've got to <laughs> we've got to uh, keep keep the run going. And if we do that, never know where it takes us. Hereford next, then eight visits since the conference days and no victories. Is it? Something specific that. about that place, or is it just one of those hoodoos? Yeah, it must be. Um, I think when you remember Ian's on Bavin's mistake, that was one of the mistakes I remember mostly. Um, but to be fair, it is a tough place to go. But the way we're playing at the moment, we, we can't can't doubt us going there and getting results. Do you have it in your mind the, the lads that have been there loads of times and, and come away with nothing? Is it in your mind when you go there? Yeah, not really. Well, you say that because then you always have it in your mind when you go to Morecambe. It's one of them things where you, when you go to Morecambe, we always fancy ourselves because it's we've got a great record there. So it, it is grounds that you like when you as a player. But I think we've just got to go into the game on Friday with the same attitude that we've been going through the last four or five games. And if we do that, we'll have a great chance of winning the game. There's been a bit of a rivalry between Accrington and, and Hereford. You yeah. tend to get a little bit of stick from the stands at yeah. Edgar Street, but it's do the players always, enjoy that? Yeah, it's always a great atmosphere there, to be fair, and especially because the confidence days when we were going going for the league, both of us together, and the games were great. I think they were having like 3,500, 4,000, even in the conference, so it was always good games, but we've always had some good matchups, and hopefully Friday night will be another one. And obviously, away form in 2011 was a bit of a problem, but it's back-to-back -back wins on the road oh, now, yeah. and, and a couple more away games to come. Yeah, well, exactly, and... We couldn't buy a win away. We think how long was the goal for? It was last February, one before we won against the AFC Wimbledon. So we've got to, as I say, it's just about keep it, keeping the run going and keep picking up points away from home. And then we've got to try and get our own form like it was last year, which we know we always go back to. But slowly but surely, it's getting like that. So if we win our own games and try and get pick up a points away, I think we're in a great, far better position we are this season than we were last season. And look where we ended up.